Well, the music, uh, I mean, you've been to Ireland, so you know, uh, the music's all around. Um, it was very heavy in, uh, in, in my family uh, and the extended family, so wherever you were, uh, there was music all, all around. Uh, no one in my family actually, uh, actually plays or performs. But uh, it was always on the radio, it was always in the pubs or, or the, uh, the, the little clubs that we used to go to of a Sunday and stuff. Um, and it was actually, uh, it was outside of Ireland that I first uh, actually got into the guitar. It was, uh, I was living in the Middle East. My uh, parents had moved over to uh, the United Arab Emirates. And there wasn't much to do for a young girl. And uh, so my, my mother actually went down to the local music store and bought me a Yamaha guitar and uh, taught myself how to play and uh, started singing and started writing songs so that was probably at the age of about 15. Yeah. Yeah. Oh for sure it was at the time I was listening to uh, Suzanne Vega, uh, Dylan, John Baez, uh, Tracy Chapman and then a host of, uh, host of Irish uh, acts as well um, thanks to my mum and dad you know uh, Foster and Alan, uh, Christy Moore um, Plank City, you know, so uh, uh, Dolores Keane, Mary Black, all that kind of stuff. So, and it was very, uh, it was very melodic to me, and also the way they all told stories, um, and that really, that really piqued my interest. It was the the actual, not just the, the the songs, but the stories within the songs. So that kind of really piqued my interest, and I, I thought I could have a go at it. What made you decide that you want to do this in front of people? Like it really uh, kind of just define uh, what it does for you playing in front of people and then how you knew that's what you wanted to do mm -hmm. and how you first knew it and, and maybe uh, tell us about your first gig. Mm -hmm. And I remember my first gig vividly actually. Uh, <clears throat> again, it was in the Middle East and uh, I was very, very into sports. Um, I, just, I, I played a lot of competitive sports in Ireland and continued on in the Middle East. And then there was a uh, there was a, an English fellow who 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 ran a folk night in uh, the Alain Palace in uh, Abu Dhabi, in the UAE. And he said uh, he knew my dad, and he said, "Listen, I hear your young one uh, sings a bit." And dad was like, "All right, I'll bring her down." And so that was the first time I got up in front of people, and it was about thirty people. Uh, I think I lost a stone in uh, sweat <laughs> before going on, but uh, I remember the minute I stepped on the stage, it was just. It was like nothing I'd ever, ever felt before. It was just amazing. And the adrenaline and the rush. Uh, and I even remember what I played. It was slip sliding away. <laughs> and uh, it was on that old Yamaha guitar. And uh, I, was, I was 16 and I knew it was hooked from then on. I decided I wanted to make it a career. And I had understanding parents because they allowed me to. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, this, this song is called uh, Gypsy Dancer. And it has a it has a Miramichi uh, twang to it because it was written right here in Miramichi, and it was named by uh, the people of Miramichi. Uh, they uh, I, I did a little poll and the people of Miramichi named it Gypsy Dancer. So this is just uh, about uh, what can go right and what can go wrong in life. It's coming ahead This empty bottom Causes this aching hell It's all an illusion Cause you won't break the ties The memories fade Touch. 
Final romancer.